assalamu alaikum my dear students very good morning to all of you we are discussing that we are studying uh, our grammar portion and uh, with vocabulary important vocabulary given in our text let's take page number 29 uh, of our book uh, it is given at the back of our lesson number 4 uh, at page number 29 our grammar section of the grammar portion is uh, i will uh, read it for you read the following sentences from the text carefully the words are in bold are called the prepos prepositions मीन्स की जो भी यहाँ पर बोर्ड लेटर्स में वर्ड्स दिए गए हैं इनको प्रपोजिशन के नाम से जाना जाता है एंड वट प्रपोजिशन आर प्रपोज प्रपोजिशन एक्चुअली दे गिव द आइडिया अबाउट द ऑलरेडी पोजिशन टेकन बाय बाय द सब्जेक्ट इन सेंटेंस सब्जेक्ट ने कौन सी पोजीशन अख्तियार की है एक सेंटेंस में आ, ये हमें इस सेंटेंस में कौन बता रहा है प्रपोजिशन बता रहा है एंड बोर्ड लेटर्स में दिया गया है आई एम स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट आई डू नॉट वांट टू गो इन इन जो बोर्ड लेटर्स में है दोनों प्रपोजिशंस हैं इट इज no longer to be looking at them cross across the shifting lights of the valley uh, at preposition hai across be preposition hai the best time to visit leh is between june and september uh, between preposition hai leh is situated at uh, at a height of 5205 meters above the sea level preposition at hai Uh, so moridi lake is 140 kilometers away from the main town uh, from preposition hai now read the pairs of the sentences given below and put a tick against the correct sentence in each pair pay attention to the use of the prepositions now what we have to do uh, there are um, uh, two sentences at our disposal both Uh, uh, prepositions are used used in both the cases in both the sentences uh, but we have to use where uh, we have to see where the right use of preposition has uh, have been uh, taken place in those sentences and we have to uh, tick mark it right first sentence for we people uh, is he went me before he went before me second case is right correct one before in fact he went before me uh, it's correct one uh, we must tick the second sentence there is nothing in geography of which he does not know there is nothing in geography which he does not know of again second case stands right and we must tick mark it he was born at a village in gandhinagar gand uh, in a village in gandhinagar district first one is correct because at when at is used it is used uh, before a smaller place or a smaller subject and uh, the in is used when it's a bigger area or a bigger place number 4 is he has a video player beside a tv and a computer second part of it is he has a video player besides a tv and computer besides is correct beside is not not correct besides means in addition to it he will complete this work in a month he will complete this work within a month within a month in a month is correct 
within a month is before the ending of the month in a month is uh, at the end of the month uh, first one is correct faraz has been suffering from fever from 6 days faraz has been suffering from fever for 6 days for 6 days indicates the period of time so for is the correct option mr beast has been teaching here since the last last 9 months mr beast has been teaching here for the last 9 months 9 months 9 uh, last 9 mon- months it's a period of time so the period of time uh, it takes always for as a preposition so second uh, one is correct put the book on the table put the book over that over the table first one is first one is correct the three boys were quarreling between themselves the three boys were quarreling among themselves when it is matter of more than two uh, preposition among is used when it is um, question of two uh, between is used so second one is correct one he went in the room he went into the room when uh, in the room means inside motion inside when it is inside inside motion it is into the room uh, this is uh, i think this is all about uh, our this preposition preposition portion given uh, in our this grammar section now next uh, before taking the next session that is uh, study skills uh, i will um, i would like to discuss something more regarding the uh, prepositions uh, preposition ke bare mein jankari lena bahut hi zaruri hai kyunki ye hamare चाहे uh, uh, written English हो या spoken English हो uh, it plays an important role or important part uh, so um, uh, written English में या spoken English में हम ज़्यादा गलती uh, use of prepositions में ही कर करते हैं तो preposition चले से मैंने पहले ही uh, बता दिया uh, uh, preposition means pre it is comprised of pre plus position and pre means before ya yeah, beginning position means a place occupied actually when it is uh, matter of spoken english or a written english then this pre a main is and this preposition main is the position taken uh, already taken by the subject in a sentence yani aap agar mujhe behtar tarike se samajhte hain to mere kehne ka matlab ye hai ki jo preposition hai preposition ka matlab ye hai ki hame ye batata hai ki hamare sentence mein jo bhi subject hai usne kaun si position ikhtiyar ki hai पहले से ही ये हमें हमारी प्रपोजिशन सेंटेंस में बता रहा है फिर हम अगर हम डेफिनेशन में इसे डालते हैं डालेंगे तो हम क्या लिखेंगे प्रपोजिशन टेल्स एस अबाउट द पोजिशन ऑफ ए सब्जेक्ट प्रपोजिशन टेल्स एस अबाउट the position of the subject <coughs> of the subject in a sentence correct example lete hain miss 
दास इज सिटिंग अंडर द ट्री फॉर एग्जाम्पल मिस दास इज सिटिंग अंडर द ट्री द ट्री मिस दास इज सिटिंग अंडर द ट्री वैन वी पुट दिस सेंटेंस इन द इंट्रोगेटिव वी शेल से वट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ mistas what her position is under the tree the position of mistas is under the tree mistas is the subject in a sentence and under tells us it is what place it has occupied um, uh, she has occupied she has occupied the place which we can call under the tree yani उसने कौन सी पोजीशन ली है उसको कौन सी जगह इसने अख्तियार की है हम कहेंगे कि दरख्त के नीचे बैठी हुई है इसी तरह से हम दूसरी एग्जाम एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं एग्जाम्पल नंबर सेकंड द पेन इज कैप्ट ऑन द टेबल द पेन इज कैप्ट ऑन द table right the pen is kept on the table hamari preposition preposition jo hai yahan par on hai aur on hame bata raha hai ki hamara subject jo hai isne kaun si position ikhtiyar ki hui hai and uh, if we put this sentence or this statement into interrogative then we are inquiring about the position take already taken by the pen and our answer must be on the table the position of the pen is on the table and next is third example you have kept your money in the bank you have kept Your money in the bank, right? आपने अपना पैसा कहाँ रखा है बैंक में रखा रखा है एंड यू यू आर द सब्जेक्ट हेयर यू इज द वर्ड इट इज वर्किंग एज अ सब्जेक्ट इन दिस सेंटेंस and why who why is the position of your money in money you must say it's in the bank and this is uh, what the preposition tell us uh, all about preposition kya hame bata raha hai bata rahi hai ek sentence ke bare mein is sentence mein jo subject hai iske bare mein इसका क्या इसके बगैर सेंटेंस हमारा जो है ये मीनिंगफुल हो सकता है या नहीं हो सकता है इन एग्जाम्पल के से आपने बेटर अंडरस्टैंड कर दिया कर दिया होगा तो अगर इस प्रपोजिशन में हम फॉर एग्जाम्पल अंडर निकाल लेंगे तो हमारा सेंटेंस भी मतलब हो जाता है इसी तरह से अगर इसमें आन निकाल देंगे फिर हमारे सेंटेंस का कोई मतलब हमारे स्टेटमेंट का कोई मतलब नहीं है एंड इसी तरह से इन निकाल देंगे तो फिर हमारा सेंटेंस भी मतलब हो जाता है इसका मतलब ये है कि विदाउट प्रपोज प्रपोजिशन वी कॉन्ट डू जस्टिस विद आवर स्टेटमेंट दैट और whether it uh, it are narrated in a spoken english or it are described in a uh, in written english and uh, what are the uses of prepositions let's discuss it in the next lecture this is enough for today thank you very much